hello everyone this is a nokia smartphone and it's not charging customer says they already replaced the subboard but still it's not power charging they had replaced again and after replacing it was charging but sometimes it was not charging so what they have done is they, they say they have put a rubber here and when i connect the cable see the cable is not entering full inside they say that one of the technician he put some rubber here and it was charging when he put it but now it's not charging so let's clean this because here I, inside i can see some rubber on both the corners so let us remove those rubber first see here this is what is not allowing the pin to be inserted see this rubber it was not allowing the pin to enter completely inside now you see now we'll have to wait for a bit for the phone to start charging maybe the battery is completely low We will check it, we will disassemble and check for disassembling, we need to remove this back over. Let's take a picture. Actually customer has already replaced the board one so it is a bit easy to remove this one if you are disassembling the your phone for first time you need to heat it using a hair dryer or a hot air gun or a heating pad you need to heat the back cover and then disassemble it in this way here customer has put some glue so be careful because fingerprint is being connected here you see the battery is also being replaced it's not a original one so now what can I do is this one these holes are not this one they are not reached so we need to it to the event together
here what I need to do is I need to solder these terminals once again just scrap the positive and negative terminal tracks on the subboard so that it can be soldered properly because these pins are not holding the previous tracks under the terminal properly so I have scrapped if you can see here all the four four because you can use the charging cable in this way or in the opposite way both the ways you can use if you solder only two terminals then the connection won't be available if you solder only two terminals then the this charging cable it will work only one on one side so now solder it and solder this ground terminus as well because of the dry solder here the socket is shaking and it's opening the connections so after soldering just let me clean it Now let me connect and check. As you can see, the pins are soldered. All these four one, two, three, and four. These two are for positive uh, front and back side. You can connect this cable anyway, this way or this way. If you solder only one terminal, only these two terminals, then the Charging will be charger will be connected only this way. If you connect it the reverse way, it won't work. So in this so we need to solder all the four terminals. Now just check for the voltage. Okay. That's good. So we'll connect the to the smartphone now. As customer said, he had already replaced the subboard. I disassembled the mainboard part as well. But in your case, if you have only the problem with subboard, that is when you just shake the charging cable, if it is the charging is getting connected and disconnected, then you can remove only this part. No need to disassemble the mainboard. I had to disassemble it because when customer said he had already replaced the subboard, I had to check the main FPC. Connect the main FPC, the battery. Oh, let me fix first this one. Now you see it has started charging, showing 1%. Here.
voltage is still 3.5 it is slowly increasing okay so as it is charging now i'll fix this back over the sorry as it is charging now let's reassemble it i'll fix the main board bracket first and then the back cover Just take the back cover so first connect this fingerprint FPC now place the main, main board bracket here in the provided grooves all around I would like to mention once again if you do not have problem that is if you have problem only with the charging that is when you shake this cable if the charger is getting charging is getting disconnected connecting connecting disconnecting if there is loose connection here then only then what you need to do is only remove this sub board and do the soldering part no need to remove the main board bracket fingerprint etc but be careful that whenever you are removing this subboard, the fingerprint FPC cable will not break. If it gets damaged, then you will have to buy a new back cover or if it is available, you can replace only the fingerprint sensing model. So it's 1%. So let's wait for it to charge and then we will put it on. As you can see now it's charging even if i shake it's not disconnecting hope this video is going to be helpful for you in solving the charging charger getting disconnected problem of your nokia smartphone if this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time